so elements compounds and mixtures so how do you find element compounds and mixtures well matter we know ma everything is made up of matter right matter is made up of solid liquids and gas right these solid liquid gas can be classified further classify them into pure substance and mixtures one pure substance Pure substance, let's look at pure substance. Pure substance can be further classified into elements and compounds. Right? So an element is substance that has one type of atom. Right? It can be broken down any further. Element cannot be broken down any further. Example, hydrogen. Right? Hydrogen cannot hydrogen contains one atom. Right? One neutron. One proton, one electron. You can break it down. You can break that down. A compound contains two or more different types. Something compound two or more elements. Two or more elements, right? A compound contains two or more elements. For example, water. Water contains. Water contains hydrogen water contains two hydrogen and one oxygen right two hydrogen and one oxygen it contains two uh, two hydrogen and one oxygen right something like this so you have two you have one hydrogen two hydrogen and one oxygen so it contains two elements now this is bounded together right properly is mixed different is mixed together it's combined chemically so that's a compound mixtures on the other hand um, so mixtures is like when two compounds mix together the different types of mixes are ho heterogeneous and homogeneous well let's call it homogeneous homo means one right it forms one complete thing that's homo means so homo has it's completely mixed together for example if you take salt if you take salt and, and water like when you're making tea right you take, you take sugar and water so you're making tea right so you're making, so you're making coffee coffee is a homogeneous mixture because coffee you put the sugar in there you, and you put you can't say sugar well, sugar is, this coffee is black, so let's say you use sugar and water, or salt and water, you can't, s you can't see the, the difference between the sugar and water, so it's, it makes one complete solution. However, um, they are not chemically bonded. The, the sugar is in there, but you just can't see it. It's, it's mixed completely. Right? It's a homogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture is like, I guess you go to the beach, right? Say you go to the beach. Um and when you go to the beach you see the you see sun not mixed with the water. The sun, uh, I mean the sun see the sun here. The 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 sand doesn't mix with the water. If you, even if you take the sand, if you take this is the water here, and you take the sand, the so the sand, and you put it in the water, what will happen is you will see the sand at the bottom of the water. It doesn't mix with the water. Maybe a little bit might mix, but it doesn't mix with the water. This is uh, this is an example of a heterogeneous mixture, right? So you have elements, compounds, heterogeneous mixture, and homogeneous mixture. So this so given the question this image represents a part a particular view of a sample of matter classify a sample according to its composition so as we can see it has two elements right it's it's chemically bonded together I it's bonded together as either ionic or equivalent it doesn't matter but it's bonded together it's two different elements so that means that that means it has
has to be a compound.